I am Mia Surratt to give you your weekly space weather report brought to you by Cousin O High School. Today is a pretty laid back day from the sun. There are no impacts from radio blackouts, solar radiation storms, or even geomagnetic storms. Earth is inside of a stream of solar wind produced from a coronal hole. The solar wind is 446 kilometers per second, which is slightly higher than average. Currently, there are no coronal mass ejections happening and there are no sunspots on the sun, which is now the eighth day with no sunspots. The 10.7 centimeter solar radio flux is currently at 70 solar flux units. There is more geomagnetic activity than usual. The geomagnetic activity is at a two on the KP index. From North America, the aurora can be seen by the aurora, not all over the southern hemisphere. Tonight, there might be a legendary meteor outburst, so keep your eyes on the sky for that. Over to you, Brandon. Thank, thank you, Mia, for that report. Time for some space news. On this day, 343 years ago, an astronomer accidentally discovered the speed of light. Ole Romer was studying Jupiter's moon Io when he noticed that the eclipse of Jupiter occurred 11 minutes earlier when Earth was the closer to Jupiter. When Earth was further away from Jupiter, the eclipse was 11 minutes late. And that showed that the speed of light was responsible. SpaceX first launch size Starship prototype suffered a setback due to failed pressure test. Also, physicists just created the most detailed simulation of the universe in history. Now it is time for the biggest news of all. Our scientific researcher, Mia, tallied up the info and says September 24th, Mr. Dubay has said the word trippy 79 times. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great day.